Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today we're going to take a look at the 3 to 9 by 40 scope from CV Life. CV Life carries a budget line of optics for a variety of shooting needs. A few months ago, they reached out to me and asked if I would do a review on one of their scopes. Most of the products I've reviewed on this channel, I've bought myself. This is one of the first times that somebody has actually sent me something to review. So I just wanted to be upfront about that. I did get this scope for free. It's a $39 scope. So is it worth it? We shall see. Looks like it. So let's take a little closer look at this scope. Scope comes with a three to nine magnification with simple crosshairs. Eye relief of three inches at a three times zoom. I found that reduced to about two and five eighths inches at a nine times zoom. Overall length is just over 12 inches, weight of three quarters of a pound, one inch tube diameter, click value quarter inch at 100 yards, and free Picatinny rail mounts are included. So I reached out to the supplier and asked a couple extra questions. First off, is the scope waterproof? They came back and said weather resistant, so rain, wet weather, it does have a nitrogen filled tube, so it won't fog, but not meant for full submersion underwater. Sorry, no special forces type stuff with this scope. Secondly, I asked about caliber. They recommend 22 LR. So obviously airsoft, pellet guns, 22, good to go. I have seen some guys shoot higher caliber, but again, manufacturer doesn't recommend that. So let's take a look at a few additional features of the scope. Windage and elevation have capped turrets. With those removed, no tools required to make those adjustments. Nice, good kind of grip on top. Good feel, good positive click, as well as an audible sound. For the zoom adjustment, large dial at the back. Again, good grip on that. I did find it to be a little bit stiff. That may free up over time. But again, easy adjustment from the three to nine zoom. Lastly, the free Picatinny rail mounts. They are the high mounts. That's maybe a love-hate thing for some people. It is designed so that you can use your iron sights below. I've tried it on a couple different rifles. First, I put it on a very basic Ruger 1022. Unfortunately, I found that by that time I put the Picatinny rail mount adjustment on top and then put the mounts and the scope on. It was just too, it was actually too high and blocked the sights themselves. The 1022 had a very low set of iron sights on it. I then tried it on a Marlin Model 60 that I'd switched out to a peep sight on. It sits much higher. Put the high mounts on that. I did have to use an adapter because that has the 3 8 dovetail, but with a Picatinny rail adapter and the high mount sights, I was able to use my uh, peep sights as well as the scope both at the same time. So you need to be aware of that. Depends on which model you have as to whether or not you'll be able to actually use that high mount to see your iron sights. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go do some shooting. Back out at the farm for some shooting. We're going to try out this scope from CV Life. So I've got this scope mounted on a Marlin Model 60 and I'm going to be using some CCI Blazer ammo. So first up, I'm going to put five rounds downrange at about 50 yards on a target. We'll see what sort of group we get. Then I'm just going to have a bunch of fun, do a few mag dumps, put a bunch of rounds through the gun, and then we'll try that again, see how well this holds zero. All right, so a pretty good group, probably just over an inch. This is definitely all within an inch right there. And then I've got one that's kind of a little bit outside of that. Probably more of my shooting more than anything else. But uh, yeah, let's uh, just put a bunch more rounds through and then we'll see if we can repeat that. All right, that's 30 rounds down range. Let's let this cool down for a minute and then we'll see what that five shot group looks like this time. So I ended up shooting a six shot group this time. I pulled the first shot, so then I did five more. You can see there's the sort of final five. That was the first one that I pulled. So I would say, you know, obviously it looks like it's dropped, maybe dropping a little bit, although I do have four right there. So I'm blaming these more on my shooting ability rather than the scope itself. Seems to have held that zero quite nicely. Pretty happy with this. All right, I'm pretty pleased with the way that that turned out. 
Next, I'm going to shoot where I transition from using the iron sights. I'm going to shoot two of these mini cans at 25 yards and then pop up and start shooting a five inch gong at 50 yards. So I'm gonna do two shots of this and then a couple shots on the gong, uh, kind of all from sort of the same shooting platform and we'll see how that works. So as you can see, it didn't quite work out according to plan. Obviously the explosion of that first pop can ended up knocking over my second pop can. So I just had to immediately transition to the gong out at 50 yards. But as you can see, the high mounts do work. You can use the iron sight below and then transition to that scope and make that transition quite quickly. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one of these mini cans, I'm gonna put this on a fence post out at about 80 yards and see if I can hit that. Uh, given that distance, I am gonna to have to hold over a little bit. There will be drop in 22 at that sort of distance. But uh, we'll do that, see how that works. Then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so there you have it. So we'll just run through some pros and cons real quick. First pro, obviously, in my mind, is the price. Uh, $39, very affordable. Uh, also, aluminum, solid aluminum body, sturdy construction. I think that's great. Found the scope to be quite accurate. Great for plinking, and you get the three to nine zone. As far as cons, really only two things I can think of. One, the crosshairs, they're just the very basic crosshair. Certainly if you're shooting up to 100 yards with a 22, you know, some sort of um, graduations on the crosshair would be helpful as well. Not designed for higher calibers. But if you keep all those things in mind, use the scope as it's intended, I would say this is well worth it. I've included a link for CV Life in the description and as well there is a discount code on the screen. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next one.